comes. Oh. Nice save. Woohoo! Nicole. Just doing a little street from Rutland Street. I'm going to go and see some glass blowing, famous Wanganui glass blowing. Now we're at the glass blowing, or whatever it's called, New Zealand glass works. So why don't I just read it? Here we go. Ooh, look at it. Glassworks, it's located in the old printing press building for the local paper, the Whanganui Chronicle. I remember watching the old printing press in action many years ago. They say that now, with this unique environment, it helps the artists to be inspired so as to create some vibrant glassworks. Wanganui is famous for its spectacular glass art. With the largest population of glass artists in New Zealand, many of these artists have been internationally awarded, creating a high achieving creative culture. With this kind of a reputation, it comes as no surprise that all of the Middle Earth glassware needed for the filming of the Hobbit trilogy, glass goblets, beer and wine bottles and inkwells, they were crafted here. Victoria House. It's a heritage building and it was once the Cosmopolitan Club here in Wanganui, but now it holds an events venue called the Arena. That holds weddings and conferences, functions and smaller events, but unbeknown to me it once held burlesque shows and burlesque and pole shows and upstairs is a dentist. What is that? I don't know. That music made for the great outdoors. Look at mine. Maybe if I used a stick. Eh. Don't know. Anyway, this is Drew's Avenue down the Drews Avenue Hill from Queen's Park Derby Day where they make their 
I'm my Dobby cat and down they come. This is where the dogs used to race. I don't think they race here anymore. Good. Now it's all. It's just another rugby field. The Spriggans Park gates were a gift from a Mr. George Spriggans, who did heaps for Wano rugby and was president of the Wanganui Rugby Union for 25 years. Here at Spriggans Park, we hosted the controversial Springbok Tour of 1981. Fortunately, no violence was witnessed here, thank goodness. And if you want to learn more about the Springboks and their tour of New Zealand, you can tune in to True Crime New Zealand podcast, because that episode was so informative. Anyway, Let's get back. In the late 1930s, the Greyhound Racing was introduced around the rugby field, but didn't survive during the war years. However, the Greyhounds raced again under the newly named Hattrick Raceway, only to close temporarily over track safety concerns in September of 2021. Skate I did when I was a kid. Centre, which is the race course over there. We're at the race course, and this is the function centre eulogy lounge. The Wanganui Jockey Club is the oldest race course in the country, formed in 1848 and it is the oldest surviving New Zealand club still racing at its original venue. And the Jockey Club holds around 11 race meets in a year and I have never ever been to one in my lifetime. <laughs> but you have, hey Bobby, you've been the days before you met me, went with your friends, 